Hello everybody and welcome back to Subnautica. Um You have got <laughs> My God. <laughs> What a fucking timing that was, eh? What timing that was. Hello everybody and welcome back to Subnautica. Um so a couple of things from the last part. Um so here we go. So on that message with the one with Neebs Gaming in it, right? Talking about the um, things. I got so distracted the fact that was Neebs Gaming and they were about the whole sandwich conversation. We'll look past that part. Um, so when I was in editing for the last part, I um, had a look and listen of what happened. So basically the main things that I picked up is that there is a high security terminal in the captain quarters on the Aurora now, this is. Um, and the code to his cabin, or his room, or I don't know what it is, should be 2679. So I have picked that up, and um, now I know the code to get into the ship. I'm sure it's logged in my PDA, and I didn't actually need to write it down on paper. But just in case, I did. Um, and I'll have it straight, you know, on me. So, I have a written plan for what we are going to be doing for this, right? So we're not we're not going to be doing anything to do with the base today, I'm afraid. They'll have to wait. Um, the organization will have to continue. Come on, load in audio, Jesus. So number one, um, we're going to that life pod underneath the island. Um, back to my comment of saying that's 100 meters too deep. I just figure it's time to man the hell up and um, just you know sort this, just sort this out and get it done, you know. Um, it's been there for ages and I just need to get it done out of the way. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head down there first thing. Obviously, I'm going to get some food and get some water and prepare first and then I'll head out. Second of all, um, I need to prepare for the Aurora. So I talked to Charlie, asked him the essential stuff I need. And he said, water, food, laser cutter and repair tool. I have repair tool. I can get water food easily. I don't have a laser cutter yet, I believe. Um, if we have a look at our blueprints, uh, for our tools, yeah, laser cutters one of three, I've only found one of them, and I haven't managed to find any others, I'm not sure how common they are, um, I didn't think it would be, because it seems like quite an essential part of the kit, but, um, nonetheless, I'm gonna find the, um, the blueprints for the rest of the laser cutter, hopefully, honestly, I'm gonna find it when I go to life pod 19, is it? Life pod 19, 19, hello. Yes, life pod 19. Oh, oh my god, you scared me. Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't think you were that close to me. I'm gonna be honest. I've only got 9%. I'm gonna probably have to head back. Ooh, guy with the green spots. I was told to. I was said I might find something interesting. Oh, Jesus. Ow, I'm taking the hits. Infected. New PDA data. Right, is that the Kara virus then? So, the aliens, the, the species with... Sea glide again, God damn it. So, the stuff with the green spots on them, that's just infected life. That's things with the Kara. God, so these fishies have it as well. And he has it, Jesus. We'll build one beacon to take with us as well. Just in case. Right, so I've made some cured peepers. So for the long so from when we're out there longer. And then I've got some water for us as well. So we might yeah, let's just bring as much of this down as we can. And we naturally got our rebreather, which we're gonna need as well. Okay, sweet. So that's pretty much everything. Do I need the rebreather, though? That is the question. Or do I need the... I'm going away from the Aurora, so I'm assuming I don't need the... Um, the radiation helmet on me. So I'm going to swap that out. Those two... Beacon, water, two health kits, a bunch of food. We're good to go. That's it. We're ready. Whoa. 
See, and this is when I don't like it so much. You can hear some reef backs. Whoa. What the hell are these things? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> you little shit. Did I kill it? Did he run into suicide me? <laughs> he just scared the fucking shit out of me. What are those things? They're like manta rays, but they're way cooler. What? Can you get off me? Why is everything attacking me? There's something there, but I'm scared. There's only one way to find out. Are you can do you attack? Jelly Ray? What is that screeching noise? Oh, he ran, he ran away from me. Let me scan you. Yes. Tree mushroom. I can hear screeching and I don't like it. Doesn't sound like violent screeching, but... Power transmitter fragment. Oh, unlocked. Why do I feel like I should have come, been to this area already? Is it because when I went to the island, I was I just went straight on the surface. I didn't stay to the ground when I went to the island originally. Right, let's read about the, the infected guy. This organism is displaying signs of bacterial infection. Bright green blisters are forming. Networks around the infection sites. Pathology suggests a waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin and respiratory system. Underlying indicates a genetic mutation and aggressive behavior. The bacterium itself is so... so Wow. Maybe we can avoid doing... I'm already infected, so... This is a really cool biome. It's like a mushroom forest. It's really cool. I'm really on edge, though, because I haven't been here before, and I don't know what lurks around here. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint... Or terror vehicle signatures. Faint. Okay, so. <sighs> oh! Fuck. God damn it. This game, it gets me too good. Hey guys, so this is me from the future. Um, I just want to point out, in this very moment, I wasn't very high energy and I wasn't talking. Because you need to understand how extremely on edge I was in this moment. How tense I was. And it just expands tenfold. There's the ship. Oh my god, it's right. It wasn't even out my depth. I mean, all right. Lithium. We made it, guys. We finally did it. We got the balls to come down here. Abandoned PDA. Integrating new PDA data. I'm probably going to have to repair my ship as well soon. I kind of want to explore around this area, you know. What's this? Moon pool fragment. One of two. So there is fragments around here, so I'm going to stick around here for a bit and have a look. They're creature eggs, I think. Got some reef backs in the area. Oh, wait. Hang on, that was a different ship then. I thought that was the same ship. No, it was a different one. The one that we need to go to is all the way out there. Ow. What is that screeching? Cyclops hull fragment. One of three. Guys, I like feel this is way... I feel like I should have come here ages ago. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Okay, okay, hull okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die down here. There's more stuff. Moon pull fragment again. I can now make a moon pull. Something else there. 
Cyclops bridge with what's the Cyclops? Someone's mentioned a Cyclops down in the the bottom and that's two of three. And I like I don't know what it was, but I didn't question it. Oh, we got something else there. I'm literally eagle eyeing everything right now. Two of three again. Ooh, there's another one there. I think that's all three, right? Because I'm, I'm getting like bridge fragment. I'm getting different pieces of it. So I got hull blueprint. Ouch. This is hard to navigate around in the sea moth as well. I know I'm stuttering a lot. It's because I'm just nervous. I get really, like, nervous when I'm out on big trips like this. Don't forget, guys. I believe this is the crew that said they got attacked by a Leviathan-class predator. Oh, <gasps> is that what I think it is? Oh, that's the second one. That's the second laser cutter fragment. We need just one more. Oh, there's one there. Please say this will be it. Oh my god, guys, we got the laser cutter. We didn't... See, my plan worked out. We go and explore, like, towards that guy, and then we get the laser cutter. That wasn't probably... That probably wasn't the smart thing to do, to be honest. Making our food go down like that. Holy shit. Guys. I, oh my god, I just got... I need to... I need to back out of this. No, 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 no. That was too much. I'm... I'm going way out of my depth, if you know what I mean. I am, like, so scared because of how deep this is going. No, why... why music? We're saving. The music is scaring the hell out of me right now. I swear to fucking God, fish. If you bash into me one more damn time. Right, we'll keep you here. We got a fucking th discovery here. As scared as I am, I didn't want to get out. Moonpool, we got that. I'm scared, guys. I'm so I'm so quiet because I'm so scared. Fucking office chair, wonderful. Whoa, there's so much shit down there. Moonpool, I've already got that. Game, when will you learn that I have that? Thermal plant fragment. Finally, something we haven't got. Prawn suit torpedo arm. That sounds amazing. Right, guys, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the beacon down here. And then, oops, I hate the music right now. I think that's how you spell wreckage. I'm too scared to care right now. And it's gone dark. I need to hop out and repair again. I feel like I'm discovering. Guys, I, no. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a breakdown. I'm actually gonna have a fucking breakdown. It's pitch black around me and I'm 
really deep in the water. And I can't see five foot in front of me. I'm actually starting to hyperventilate a little bit. This game's getting to me. We're going to consume our last water. I'm not sure whether I, f I genuinely feel like staying still and waiting for morning is going to be the best course of action. Oh my god, I hate it. Oh, oh my god, I'm actually going to have a heart attack right now. My heart is pounding out my chest. I'm, I genuinely just want to sit here and wait until sunlight. Look, like, even if I look up, I can't see the surface. <sighs> this game's just got, it's just given me some serious anxiety problems right now. Like, I'm, I don't want to move forward. As te like, he's just down there as well. He's only 158 meters away. I don't care. I'm sitting and waiting until it gets a bit sunlight so I can see a bit better. All I can hear is the humming around me of the fucking ambient music. And a reef back every now and then. And it's scaring the hell out of me. You want to talk about atmosphere? This is atmosphere in its perfect form. To the point where it paralyzes someone so much. That... They don't want to move forward in the game. That's that's when you know you've done a good job. That doesn't help, you know? That just makes it worse. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. The islands are right above me now, isn't it? Do I dare? sea glide my way down there a hundred meters down there because the game has spooked the hell out of me and i think if something attacks me while i'm down there in the dark i think i'm genuinely gonna die like i'm gonna die of anxiety of, or an anxiety attack or a panic attack or something like that since when did night last this long I'm doing it. PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. We did it. I'm out. Oh, and now it turns day as soon as I fucking retrieved it. Welcome aboard, Captain. <sighs> Guys, that was too much. The game had me in its grips then. I I was genuinely paralyzed of fear. We've got some more stuff. Now it's light, I'm feeling a lot better, but in the darkness then, that just got to me too badly. That got to me way too badly. But I know people say it's just a game, but... Oh, we've already discovered it, though. I People say it's just a game, but honestly, that was some of the most intense and scared I've ever been in a game. I have, nev I have never been in a game so scared that I am paralyzed to move forward and make progress in that game. I have never had that happen to me. And it is the worst feeling Morning. I've ever Maximum had. Oh, Jesus Christ, imminent. you need to remind me? There is so much more down there. Hang on, I want to try something. There's stuff down here and I really want to... Gel sack. New blueprint. Acquired. Thermal plant fragments. New 
Right, I've got a marker down here. I'm not sure if there's anything else I can explore here. But there is a bunch of stuff here, though. Like, seal door cut open to access. I bet that's what you need the, um, the cutter for, right? Why does the tiniest bug make it sound like I'm colliding with a meteor? Look, we need a laser cutter here as well. So in the... Okay, in the red grass zone, on the way to that beacon, heading straight south. Oh yeah, this is where... Yeah, okay, so straight south from our life pod, there is this cave here. Which I don't want to go down, it's too scary. Please just let me in, I'm so scared. I'm not scared anymore, but that was too much. Welcome that was aboard, that was just too much for my heart to handle. Oh yeah, beacon as well. This is life pod four. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date debate. They've got a big old fish next to them. I can eat this gel sack. How disgusting is that? I'll eat them, I might as well. We got some, yeah, we got some ruby, which I haven't seen before. Got some diamond, lithium, some really good stuff actually. There's some really like high quality materials over there. Um, I believe that the Cyclops look like a vehicle, so it's like, can we build it? Cyclops, ingredients unknown. Okay. Well, we have, we picked up a bunch of fragments for just different things, so. Aerogel. Light porous dry gel, high heat insulation, gel sat. Oh, I just ate them. <laughs> Shit. That's what you need the gel sacks for, right. For aerogel. Makes sense. Diamond. Thank you. And we've got cave sulfur in here as well. And we've got some titanium in this one. Sweet, we could just make a laser cutter. Just from me hoarding stuff. Hoarding. Hoarding stuff. Um, laser cutter. Happy days. So. Ooh, cool. Right, so. We explored the life pod, um, and my next thing on the list was to prepare for the Aurora. We have some, we have some PDAs as well, actually. Life pod launch sequence initiated. Entering planetary atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. Impact imminent. Life the is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. What the fuck, man? Did he just did he just go insane on like the way down? Cuz it, it sounded like a prayer which makes sense. But then he started going insane by the sounds of it. Second officer Keen's crew log to all crew if you are reading this then you have followed the automatic distress signal by this life pod's onboard computer contrary to my orders. I have been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to dis disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous. We've already been there. Keen this is Aurora, come in. This is Keen. Life pod detached, okay, planet four in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. 
You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. Uh. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain. Okay, so okay, that's why he said to rendezvous to there, because that's what the captain told them to do, and the captain tried to land it safely so they could reach HQ. Oh, what are these? Floaters. I don't want to touch you. We need to... We need to get a habitat builder and have a look at... Um, what's it called? And see what we um, picked up in diagrams. Also, there was a radio message that we got while we were out. This is an automated distress signal from Life Pod 12. Coordinates attack. Okay. Warning. Life Pod has sunk beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Signal okay. location uploaded to PDA. Um, Seek fluid intake immediately. Sunk to the ocean bed. Yes or no? I picked up shit tons of people. Moon pool. Vehicle docking bay with high energy and structural requirements. Right, okay. Thermot converts heat to energy at medium efficiency. So it's another way we can get energy. Honestly, I think bioreactor is going to have to be built soon. So I can sustain this base, because I don't think two solar panels are going to do it. We've got loads of water. We've got a cooked peeper. We've got a cured peeper, sorry. Got a cooked peeper. We've got this stuff. We've got loads of water. We'll take, we'll take a couple of those. I'm going to store away this water. And I'm going to have four on me. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. We have thirty slots then. Um... I think that might be it then. I think we might be ready to go, guys. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm rationing out because it's a big trip going to the Aurora and whatnot. And I'm not sure how long I'm going to be in there. And I'm assuming it's going to be a long time because the Aurora is a big place. Um, we did a lot of good stuff though, regardless. Like, we discovered loads of stuff. I went... I was paralyzed in fear for like 20 straight minutes. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, guys. Um... I think we'll have to end it. I know it wasn't as high energy, this one. Because... I'm, I'm not kidding you. Welcome aboard, Captain. I was... I was really excited at the beginning. And then I got put into that zone and that area. And I hadn't been there before. And I don't know. I'm panting from it now, to be honest. I nearly had a damn panic attack. I'm not even joking. I was that scared and terrified. I nearly had an actual panic attack mid-video, which would have been awful. Um, and it scares the hell out of me. Honestly, it, it's, it has scared the absolute hell out of me. Not that I'm not like, <laughs> oh, I'm ending the Let's Play for my own health and whatnot. I don't think I now I know what to expect. I don't think it's going to be anything like that again. But by God, I was, I've never been, I've never felt fear like I felt fear then. Um, I was horrified at what happened. I literally was sat in that sea moth for 10 straight minutes, still, for waiting for the sun to come out so I could see a little bit better because that made me feel more, more confident. But literally, it, but in, before the sun came up, that took me, t that 10 minutes, it took me. Um, it took me 10 minutes to get out of that and just swim down a bit. That's what, like, I was so terrified. But anyway, we've got a beacon on that wreckage in that zone. And we need to go back there, though. That is a key thing. We n we have to go back. Because there are so many good materials down there. There's a big wreckage down there. We have a laser cutter. Um, and directly, like, di this direct south, southwest, that red kelp zone, there is a laser cutter. There's a couple of laser cutter doors there. We have to open it. We have to go back there, open those doors, see what's inside them, discover what's going on, you know. I'm sorry we didn't explore the Aurora. I'm sure you all of you are dying for me to get into the damn Aurora um, to explore and see what's in there. But I was, I was so terrified then. And like I said, the game's never made me feel the way it has. But in the next part, we have loads of water on us. Look, we have water, we have food. 
That's old. Might as well eat it. Um, I'm going to get some... What's it? At the beginning of the next part, I'm going to prepare. Because... Because obviously the first part of this was to go and explore that. I didn't realize we'd find that much. I didn't realize how much we were going to discover and how long it was going to take. So I think that deserves a whole part to itself. And th that was a hell of a journey. So I think that deserves a whole part in itself. And so, but anyway, I've gotten that out of the way now. I have my laser cutter. I have the tools I need for the Aurora that Charlie recommended I have. Um, I've got I've got a bunch of water in my container down there. I've got water on me now. I've got some first aid kits. I've got a cured peeper. Probably got to get a couple more of those. But then once I've done that, guys, I'm I'm set. I'm so ready to go for the Aurora, and I think that's going to be the plan. So literally take the first ten minutes preparing for the Aurora, and then head straight to the Aurora and ha just let's see what and just find out what's going on in there because we need to head over there. So if you like this video, like it um, as you would. If you didn't like it, dislike it. And I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye, guys.